so let's see aim and application of the next experiment so aim is to verify that IL current through inductance at 0 plus and voltage across capacitance at 0 plus for the given circuit so let's move on to theoretical calculations so now for the given circuit we have to find the current through inductance at 0 plus and voltage across capacitance at 0 plus that is when the switch is opened at time is equal to 0 what is the flow of current through inductance 1 Henry and the voltage across capacitance at 1 by 2 micro 1 by 2 farads now we are well aware of the derivation in the theory classes that IL 0 minus is equal to IL 0 plus similarly VC 0 minus is equal to VC 0 plus now we have seen these two characteristics in derivation in the theory classes so based on this data let us first find out what is IL 0 minus and VC 0 minus that is current through inductance at time 0 minus that is before the switch open it was actually closed so using that data you have to analyze and find the current through inductance and voltage across capacitance at 0 minus that is a T less than equal to 0 le le less than 0 and the same answer we can validate for IL 0 plus and VC 0 plus so now how is your circuit diagram circuit diagram for T less than 0 so now we can know we, we know that the switch is closed at T less than 0 and how do we represent or uh, how do we represent capacitance 1 by 2 farad in ohms and how do we represent 1 entry in ohms in a DC circuit as we know in a DC circuit uh, frequency is 0 capacitance C is counted to XC it appears as infinite thus it is open circuited and simply inductance when we convert L to XL we know XL appears 0 thus it is short circuited so as you can see in this circuit that we have voltage 5 volts and resistance 2 ohm and 3 ohm now we have to we have to find the data IL0 minus so this is not just IL this is IL0 minus as we have written the circuit for T less than 0 or we can say this as T is equal to 0 minus so what is IL0 minus and what is VC0 minus so let's uh, start uh, solving for IL0 minus so just by Ohm's law we can say this is 5 divided by 2 plus 3 and this is 1 ampere and thus by the derivation we know IL 0 plus is also 1 ampere now let us uh, solve for VC so VC 0 minus so what do you think what is VC 0 minus or voltage across what which all elements or which element will give me this VC so when I see towards left I see only 3 ohm thus voltage across 3 ohm is VC but how is the but how is the polarity at this junction right I have positive and at the bottom I have negative so when I apply K, K when I apply Ohm's law to find V is equal to I into R so I'll write that as IL 0 minus into 3 but is it plus or is it minus as the current IL hits positive polarity first thus we say that as plus IL 0 minus into 3 and the answer is 3 volt now let us say if I see towards uh, left so if I see towards left which all elements do I see? I see 5 volt and 2 ohm. But what? How? 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 Which, how, how do? We, how do we need the polarity? You can see we have at this end we have positive, and at the bottom we have negative. So right. So if you when you when you apply KVL, you'll get the equation as. How do you get the equation as? So now this is important. This is how I want. Plus here and minus here. But see the orientation of IL. So IL is traveling right here. And what polarity do you mark here? You mark plus and minus for IL. So now, how do you write the equation for this? You write the equation as minus 2 into IL0 minus plus 5 equal to 0. Right? Or this is nothing but that is equal to VC0 minus. Now, so when you solve this, you will get the same answer that is. 3 volt. So in exams you can use either left or right for a given problem to find voltage and you analyze any one end you can utilize to find out VC0 
minus. So now, so as for the derivation, we can write Vc0 plus is also equal to 3 volt. Right? So these, this is your theory calculations. Now let's move on to circuit connection in PSPICE. So what are components are required here? So as we can see, we need one VDC, we need two resistances, and we need one L and one capacitance, and one. What is the what is the final condition of the switch? At T greater than zero, the switch is open. Thus, we need switch open and one common ground for the circuit. So let's move on to circuit simulation. So let's take a switch open. Let us place accordingly. And we need one VDC. We need two resistances. Let us place them accordingly. We need one capacitance. Rotate and place it accordingly. That's after the switch. And we need one inductance. We need one common ground. That's E, G, and D. Let us zoom to fit pitch. Now let us connect them. Right. Let us value the components. Supply is 5 volt. Your R1 is 2 ohm and R2 is 3 ohm and by default it's 10 milli henry we have to rename revalue this to 1 henry capacitance 1 by 2 0 0.5 farads but as told uh, the default value of capacitance do not have a unit because F stands for 10 power minus 15 here now so click on our enable transients and let us say for one second save your file right what all do we need to find we need to find voltage across capacitance how top positive and bottom negative so go to marker take voltage differential voltage at the top it's positive sorry place at the end of the wire or at the end of the component top positive and the bottom negative and we need current how we need current coming out in this direction through the inductance this current is going down so where you have to place a current marker as we need current in this orientation you have to place above right so the current gives in such the value of current is found in such a way that the current is given from this end to the other end of the same element thus it is down so as we need going left then I too need to find I need to place a current marker at the right let's save the file and simulate to see our output right so click on toggle cursor so you can see we are getting the current as 0.998 approximately 1 and click on voltage of capacitance is 2.994 approximately 3 volt that's what we have got as theoretical calculations right however get your output what you can do is revalue your switching resistance so let us reduce the short circuit resistance further and let us increase the open circuit resistance and let us try to simulate and check the data so now you can see the value of current is 1 ampere same as calculations and similarly the value of voltage is approximately it's more accurate than the previous data it's approximately 3 volt so the open circuit voltage is not matching I mean it's not exactly as 3 so further what you can do is you can further what you have to do let me ask you a question what you have to do do you, do you think you have to increase the resistance to get voltage or should you resist reduce the resistance in order to get your open circuit voltage so as the name says open circuit that means your open our open resistance has to be increased so let us say I'll add two more zeros here and let us try to save the file and then simulate to see your output so we have one ampere and still we have approximately three volts
So simulation result. So for this we have calculated IL0 minus as 1 ampere and VC0 plus as 3 volts and we have simulated this and we verified the answers are same for switching action of this transient, transient circuit. Thank you.